Well, it's update time. I'm gonna show you some DVDs and Blu-rays. I think you know the drill by now. Um, I was gonna do this video yesterday, but I fell asleep. So, I'm doing it today instead. Um, and I literally just got home, and I thought that I would do this right away, because it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know how you literally just get home, by the way. It, what's the definition of just? Uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah. So um, let's just start with, I don't know, I think, uh, yeah, I only have two Blu-rays, so I guess I can start with the Blu-rays. We have the Jungle Book. What a lovely looking steelbook. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't think I've seen this movie with English language before. But really, you know, if I would have to, I mean, I think The Lion King is the only Disney movie where I would have to watch it with English, I mean, with Swedish uh, language, because... I mean, I watched this with the Swedish language too, and I remember their voices, uh, the lines in Swedish and stuff like that, even though I haven't seen it in 10 years. Um, except, for, except for this little excerpt shown on Christmas every year. But, um, yeah, except for, for that, I haven't seen it in, yeah, I think about a decade, I mean, maybe longer, I ha I don't know exactly, but... Uh, but, yeah, in, anyway, watching it with English language is fine. Uh, it's just that the Lion, Lion King has a bit of a special place. I hope I said The Lion King. I didn't say The Lion Book, did I? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, great movie. I really enjoy it. By the end of this, uh, it's pretty short, 74 minutes, and you know, it's everybody knows about it, but by the end, um, I mean, you really, or 76 minutes, actually. I apologize. Um, but, yeah, towards the end, you really get to know, have gotten to know the characters, and you really... Yeah, the ending is, uh, I think, pretty powerful, actually, in a way. Um, and I think mainly what makes the um, atmosphere of this movie so cool and so mysterious and everything, I think is the music, because the music is great. I'm, I'm not talking about the musical uh, performances, you know, the uh, songs which the characters sing, you know, they're good too. I found, found, found myself really enjoying <laughs> the song which this monkey, or orangutan or whatever, is singing. Um, I mean, I, re I recognize it, but uh, this time I was like, man, this is pretty good. Uh, no, but anyway, I'm talking about the back, the actual sound, not the soundtrack, well, but the, the theme song, you know, which is playing um, over the movie, y you know what I mean. That's really good, and that adds to the atmosphere a lot. Anyway, uh, yeah, I like this one for sure. Uh, then we have, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, because I liked it, but, yeah, well, maybe a little disappointed. But I still think it's good. Uh, but it's before before midnight. I mean, I've heard such, you know, such outrageous <laughs> praise for this almost that I really had high expectations. And I, as I said, it's a good movie. There are scenes in it which I really like. Actually, there are not very many sequences of this in this movie. I think there are, I don't know, but maybe six main sequences altogether. I don't know exactly, but um, very long scenes, very long sequences. Um, but I, I enjoyed the first two the mo more, especially the first one, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, I know it's kind of the same deal with the first two, but they're talking about a lot of things that I don't care about, like philosophical topics, they're discuss discussing sort of pseudo-intellectual stuff, and I'm just like, ah, uh, they're sitting there at a dinner, dinner table forever and talking about these things, and I just don't care, to be completely honest. Um, and I don't know what's different with the first two, but it worked 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 better there. Maybe it's the fact that there are a lot of more people at that dinner table, and I just don't care about the rest of them. But um, most of the movie is only the two of them, I guess. Um, and uh, so, some of this is, to, I mean, it's the directing of this is really sort of seamless. It doesn't feel like there is a director. It just feels like it's made up on the spot, like this incredibly improvised movie, uh, which obviously it's not improvised, it has to be probably very meticulously meticulously planned as they're walking through the city, the camera follow them in one shot, you know, it's very well planned how they make it so smooth and seamless, I guess, um, how they work that all out, um, that's really impressive. Um, but I don't know, it just didn't grab me in the same way. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm, I want to watch the first two again, so maybe after that I'll, I'll rewatch this too. But um, 
Yeah, but it's it's good. But I I some some stuff were, were great, like this first scene in the car. I mean, their dialogue there is is really great. I really enjoy listening to it because it's so original. It's so there's just something about it. It's so um, it's realistic in a way. It doesn't feel. It just feels natural, the way the di 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 dialogue is written, and maybe partly improvised. I don't know, because a lot of the reactions. Especially from Ethan Hawke, I think this seems incredibly genuine. Like he's hearing stuff for the first time, which makes him laugh and whatever. Um, and anyway, um, yeah. Let's uh, yeah, let's just continue. White man can't jump. Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson. I mean, this is kind of a corny movie in a way, but uh, it's fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I've seen I've seen it before, but. Um, uh, I didn't really remember anything from it, but um, yeah, I like it. Then uh, we have Small Time and Where's the Money, Ronnie? Two films by Shane Meadows. This one I did not see. It's based on Rashomon by Kurosawa, and mainly because I haven't seen Rashomon, I didn't want didn't want to see this either. It's only about ten minutes, but uh, I didn't feel like watching it. Small Time is the main feature, however, which you can tell. It's released by BFI. And I believe this is Shane Meadows' first output or feature or whatever. 1996. Uh, about an hour movie. Uh, extremely uh, low budget, or if any budget. I mean, it just feels like a bunch of friends who got them together and used whatever equipment they have to make a, you know, a movie, you know. Um, but. Uh, I enjoyed it at first, but I don't know why. But after after a little while, I just I did not like it. So ultimately, I, I didn't care for it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I just didn't like it. Uh, then we have Night Shift, a pretty mediocre movie, I have to say, with Henry Winkler, Michael Keaton, and Shelley Long. This is a great cast. Um, one problem I read in a review afterwards, which I totally agree with is that um, the chemistry between, there's a bit of a roman ro romance thing going on between Michael Keaton and Shelley Long no, sorry <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that's not right between Henry Winkler and Shelley Long and it, the chemistry is just not there, you know, it's it doesn't really work and uh, I didn't really care for the plot either, it just I, I don't know, I had something else in mind uh, the only thing I liked about it, really, that I can say was good, was Michael Keaton, because he does some funny stuff in this. He's really good. Uh, his um, just uh, comedic uh, timing is, uh, you know, he's definitely a natural <laughs> when it comes to that. So, I can't say I enjoyed it either. Um, but, um, yeah, a bit of a disappointment, I think. Then this one I watched last night. And it's um, The Extraordinary Ordinary Life of Jose Gonzalez. When I unboxed this last time, I think I said The Extraordinary Life, but it's called The Extraordinary Ordinary Life. Anyway, uh, it says here on the back, um, It's but by the way, Jose Gonzalez is a Swedish musician, and it says that he's one of the most um, prominent, but also one of the most uh, secretive, something like that. Um, and but I have never heard of him. Uh, it says he's prominent, so if he is, then I must have been been living under a rock because I have no idea who it is. But it also says that he's, says that he's secretive, so maybe that's why. But anyway, um, it's just a, a document, or an a, um, it's, a, it's a documentary, and uh, an account on his life, or not really on his life. Mainly, it's a mu music documentary about his. Um, him touring, uh, recording music, sharing his philosophical thoughts. Very, uh, sort of, I don't know, kind of low-key, um, like the least obnoxious movie that I've ever seen, I think. It's just um, kind of, you, you're just observing the camera. It's kind of like a diary film. A lot of just um, a cheap camera is just put on a, you know, a table or something, and then it's filming what's going on. Um, not a whole lot of dialogue in it either, uh, but this guy Jose Gonzalez, his um, he plays like he's a singer-songwriter, plays some sort of 
contemporary folk music in indie folk maybe I don't know exactly um, it's not bad but uh, the reason why I liked it is because it, I don't know it's just um, it's very very sort of artistic very um, uh, I don't know I <laughs> In a way, I, I can recognize myself in uh, in him. He's very, he says he's secretive. He's very shy, very anti-social. I can recognize. I think I think he's even a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. When I talk in, in my videos, I might seem very talkative and social. I don't know. Maybe, but that's I'm I'm not like in real life. When I when I talk to people, I tend to be. Um, at least with people, mainly before, not so much anymore, to be honest. But I, w I had a still do, but mainly before. Before I had a very hard time thinking of what I should say. Like have problems carrying a conversation to, you know, come up with things to say. Like I had very problems, just you know, whatever. And uh, I just recognized myself in certain ways that this character, uh, this the character, this this person deals with that too um, just sort of looking down nodding smiling a little bit not really saying too much um, this guy is super shy <laughs> but uh, still it's there's a similarity so that's one thing which you know I could recognize myself there uh, but then in other other ways he's, he's very different for me um, but yeah it just mixes um, well it says here um <clears throat> through a diary um <sighs> based on personal voice recordings it says something else ah god damn it i'm sorry uh, but anyway yeah in it says in swedish it's in swedish here and english here in the studio his home and on tour yeah so and then are some there there's some animations as well um, and if you want to see this, there are. Um, I'm sorry, I did a terrible job uh, re reviewing this, by the way. <laughs> but it's uh, it has English and Spanish subtitles actually. I th he speaks Spanish, so maybe that's why it has Spanish subtitles, um, as well as Swedish subtitles. But um, yeah, but pretty pretty cool and a nice DVD. Um, there is a website for this, but I found it for a very cheap price through another website, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, this one, ne this next one, I, I was going to talk about last time, but I didn't have time, and I almost uh, talked too fucking long about that now, so I almost would have had to push this until the next update once again. But anyway, here we have a bit of a monstrosity. It's Cheers, complete series, all eleven seasons. I already had season one, so I watched season one through eleven. I mean, season two through eleven. So I've been watching this quite a bit, uh, pretty regularly pretty frequently uh, these last maybe three months although I, I finished it a few weeks ago but um, yeah I enjoy it a lot it's one of those shows which you sort of watch it uh, for the familiarity and sort of almost for comfort in a way I mean I don't know maybe that, that's sort of what, sit what sitcoms are about in a way you just feel you know, at home in a sense but um, uh, it doesn't really renew itself after a season or two that's that's the deal you know <laughs> not too much I mean some characters are, in, are introduced and after a few seasons I felt that they did start to explore more territory if you if you will they uh, added a lot more um, locations a lot a lot of episodes actually in a way I th I'm not gonna say I can't say for sure but at times it felt like almost all episodes had one new location for that episode like uh, you know, one thing, one some part of part of the plot uh, before they just went to that place, um, wherever it was, and then they came back, and you, you didn't see any of it. They just told about it. But now you you get to follow them to those places. I don't know if their budgets got bigger or whatever, but so it's fun to see more uh, locations than just the bar um, after a few seasons. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, the characters are fun, especially I think Ted Danson does a great job. He does some funny, he has a great comedic comedic attitude here. Uh, most characters are funny, but I mean, maybe that's the, the deal with sit sitcoms, but they're a bit two-dimensional. 
especially Carla. I have to say that I don't like her. Through 11 seasons, I don't like her. <laughs> I just, this is gonna sound kind of dumb, but and kind of silly in a way, but the reason, main reason is because she just doesn't feel human. I mean, she's just rude all the time. And to me, it doesn't make her, well, it's pretty obvious that she's not likable, but obviously there's there has to be something which people like about her still. I mean, she's funny and everything, but I just, I think it's too much in a way. Uh, I just, I think they go overboard with her cruel jokes. And I'm, I don't know what you're gonna think about me when I say that, but that's that's the way I feel. <laughs> yeah, pretty um, simple packaging here. It works. It's been a bit of a pain in the ass at times watching all of this and you having to you know go through these, but it, it works. And uh, you know I, I like the show. It's not a favorite of mine, but um, I enjoyed watching it all the way through. Obviously, I saw 11 seasons of it, so if I didn't enjoy it, I think I would stop. Oh shit, the camera will cut off right now. So I'm sorry about that. I was going to say a few more things, but I can't. But thank you very much for watching. See you next time.